I am Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show, and we are talking with uh, the improv group Midnight Passion here at the 2018 Dallas Comedy Festival. So I want to go around and you guys introduce yourselves into our lightsaber microphone. Nice. I'm Jessica. Jeff. Lisa. Jordan. Camille. And I'm Ray. All right. Midnight Passion. I, there's just so many meanings behind that. I'm, I'm looking at all of you and... Yeah, I, so we have to know, how did you come up with the name? Uh, it was actually given to us. Uh, we were put together by Dallas Comedy House, and so we, when we were assembled, uh, they just threw that name on us, and we ran with it. Yeah. We loved we it. Kept yeah. it. Yeah, we could have changed it at any time. But why would we? Why would we? It's probably going to be the most anticlimactic story you have tonight. Yeah. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. You no, know, I, I was feeling. I was thinking of like a Dallas TV show theme with Midnight Passion. Somebody gets shot. There's a big mystery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, now I'm disappointed. A, we're going to write a sketch show soon, and that's what we want our Okay, this, this is where we're bouncing off ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. You can All right, great. cool. Now, do you guys feel like that there is anything too taboo as a group that you wouldn't touch? <laughs> By ourselves or in front of an audience? <laughs> yeah. So there, yeah. I left that one wide open. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, it, it's dictated by our audience. We tend to go really dark, so we've been molded, I guess, by our audience uh, with how far we can actually go with some of our material. Yeah. We've taken it pretty far, though. I mean, tonight we did, we made jokes about gun control tonight, which is terrible. Yeah. Oh. It was, it was hey, don't get too risky. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I feel like we always cross the line. <laughs> Not always. You want me to say something? Yeah. You know what? I, I think that's kind of what you have to do, you know, as a comedian. Yes. You have to push the envelope. And I, I, I sad that I missed the little gun control thing. It's all, it's all, it's all part of the process, just like figuring out like what you can and can't talk about. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta push it until. Well, like Jim Jeffrey said, be careful what you say because the people you're complaining about have all the guns. <laughs> So, now, I mean, who has been some of y'all's biggest influences? Or was that put together for you too by Dallas Comedy? <laughs> yeah. They told us who to like. <laughs> we, yeah, we're robots. <laughs> That's a tough one. You know, I, I think a lot of it would be because improv, from what I know, uh, has just been based here in Dallas. I haven't studied in Chicago, so a lot of like my inspiration or uh, who I look up to comes from the Dallas Comedy House. So Amanda, who's the owner, um, who started it, and then um, obviously a lot of the coaches we had and the other players that are in the Dallas Comedy House in general. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> yeah, no, I think just uh, yeah, seeing everyone else here and seeing how well they do and seeing how many talented people are like from this general area that you're from, it really helps you uh, think that you can be one of those talented people too one day. So yeah, it's good to look up to people locally. Okay. Now, is there anything that you know we can expect, like any new material, anything that you guys worked on that you're showcasing here? Well, as Jordan said, we are going to eventually write some sort of sketch show in the near future. Uh, We've really been um, interested in this wax museum. Yes. That, uh, <laughs> there's a mystery behind it. Uh, we always see it on our if way out to Brazilian, <laughs> I'm going to look Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so. We also do like a lot of shows for like uh, seeing impaired people and stuff like that, and so we always look forward to those. These are just completely different. Uh, so you can expect that in the future too. Yeah. Stuff like yeah. that. All right, so we got one last question for you, and everybody has their own answer, their right. own group answer. Uh, we like to ask a nerdy question at that nerd show because that's how we are. If you could have a weapon of choice within the nerd universe, lightsaber, phaser, superpowers, just anything, what would it be? And we're going to start with you. Uh, start with me. Um, I would go with a shit. Uh, Death Star. No, that's so complicated. <laughs> yeah, like Why would I want to run the Death Star? Oh, that's a weapon. Is that not a weapon? <laughs> that's a weapon. I guess it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good Star Wars reference. I mean, it is obvious it's like lightsaber. Um, you don't know for me, though. this is easy. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> Jeff knows. Go to Jeff. Watch here. Yeah. I would pick, like, Feather Duster. 
so I could tickle people to death, <laughs> and they would die laughing. Oh my god. That's terrible. Like the one from Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. The person in such a side, ah. enchanted. <laughs> this is the dark version yeah. of Booty and the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, um, I would probably have Wonder Woman's shield. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Okay. That's a weapon. The Elder Wand from Harry Potter. That's good. Enough said. <laughs> yeah, we're done. That's we're done. Good. Nobody else has to answer. <laughs> uh, do you, you want to go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was easy. Um, I would do either the Yamoto Cannon from StarCraft or the Sock Lever from Bloodborne. Those are my two favorites. I don't even know what that is. Our gaming online IDs are. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah right. <laughs> exactly. I'll play Platinum Bloodborne. I'll play with anybody. Hey, we need some more people. We're seeing a few. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you, I'm sticking with the Death Star. <laughs> you still stick with the Death Star. Fire Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, with the with the little flaw in everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How else is Luke gonna become a hero? <laughs> oh, I know mine. Uh, <laughs> I think I would go with like a Green Lantern ring. Uh, probably just be like that has so much flexibility to it. I think that's mine. With or without the shiny green outfit. <laughs> I uh, win. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, again, I mean, I do want to see some kind of soap opera uh, sketch thing. Yeah. Yeah. My passion. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Good luck with the festival. Thank you.